Hey, Basil and Will from Grayson Hobby, and today we're on location, and we're gonna use a radar gun to see how fast all our drones go. It's a big question how fast it goes, so we're gonna use this little radar gun we got at the sports store, and we'll see how fast they go. All right, so what we're gonna do, just see how accurate, he's gonna go 10 miles an hour, and I'm gonna gun it, and we'll see how, how close it is. 10, there we go. Right there, 11 miles an hour. That's actually pretty accurate because he knows how accurate that is. We done the Wizard, we did the Racer 250 Pro, we done the Baby Hawk, we done the, the Frog, the QX Frog, the QX90C, and there were 100. Scorpion. All right, so the first one we have is the Wizard with a 70C 3S. This is all going to be stuff we carry. And yeah. The only difference is I got Dow 5040 props on it. I ran out of the stock props. Um, I'm using my Owl Cam, which is really set up for night, but oh well. Um, still back to the stock VTX and all that, so it's pretty much stock quad other than the prop chains. And we're running an af aftermarket battery. No. There's no wind, so there's not going to be a factor, and this is not scientific. We have a radar gun and some flying, and this is real world situation. This is something you'll get if you get the Wizard or any other quad, so. All right, Will, waiting on you. 59! Holy moly, and he hit the ground. 59 miles an hour on the wild score. 61! 62! That was 62. 58 because you went... Now, the, the more the angle... The more the angle, he's away from me. 63! 63! Holy... That was dangerous. 68! Alright. And the flip, a 29. I can't even see that thing. No, you can't. 54, so 59, 59, 59. That was 17, right? That passed was 17. And that was zero. Because yeah. I was looking at the ground most times, so I got the DVR for it. The first pass, you had full fresh battery, uh, fresh pack. Yeah, but I, I wasn't out. I mean, I didn't get really a good Right, straightaway. but you hit 60 miles an hour, first pass. Yeah, well, it hit a, what, Six, top of 63? 63, I think, maybe 68. I heard a 60, I think I heard a 60, 61, and 63. 63 was a second pass. So, I mean, it averages right. possibly, if you get optimum tilt and all that, probably 65 right. miles an hour but, top. So, right. the four cell, obviously, more powerful. Unfortunately, I didn't bring any four right, cells. Right, no, we're not doing four cells. So, um, all right, what else we have next? Uh, we have the Aurora 100. Yeah, we can do that. All right, Aurora 100. So, next, we're going to go changing gears a lot. We're going to go from a five-inch quad size down to, what? Three inch, hundred inch? millimeter. Uh, it's running a two inch prop. Two inch prop. So we went from five inch to a two inch. And what do you what do you guess in the speed? It might be close. I, I think it's gonna be close. Uh, the, um, same the only thing? mods of this one, I changed the antenna to a dipole because someone broke my clover leaf. And then XT30 connectors because the JST suck. Um, and that's it. Right. All right. Start here. All right. Or start wherever. Oh, I can stand. Well, I don't want to stand next to you guys in case I hit you. So he noticed he's not putting himself in the line of fire here. <laughs> no, it wasn't my idea. Right now, you're not moving. I am not moving. According correct. to the radar gun, you're not moving. Do you concur? Right. This one, oh crap. 53! Oh my gosh! 53. I would not expect that. Here he comes. 53 again. Okay, gun cleaned out. 52. Dang, man. Here he comes. 54. 54 right there. That said 57. I don't know if that I read that right, but it, it's what it is. That one I didn't get, unfortunately. All right, clear it out. Here we go. Rope my head. 50. Well, I guess it must be right. It's two in a row. All right, try to come over, right over my head. Because the less angle we have, the better it is. There's no way. 62. I told you 60. Yeah, because the, the more... So the Roar 100, what do you think? 63 miles an hour. I told you, it's every bit as fast as the I, If I didn't see it, I wouldn't have believed it. So it, When I flew it, I was like, oh, this is cool. I mean, it's definitely not going to be durable like Wizard for starting out, so don't even think about it if you haven't flown these right. things before. But it's fast and it does everything the big ones do. So. Right, exactly. All right, so next up in the lineup is going to be the Emax uh, Baby Hawk. This is a what? Two cell? 
Two cell. Two cell. Uh, people Russell's... running on three, but it calls for two cell. All right, so stock. this test is going to be on two cell. Do you uh, do anything with the connector? No, this nope. is JC. Everything stock. Stock other with the a stock battery, pretty much. Right? I have an XM receiver okay. installed, and I'm using it on Tyrannus, right. and that's it. Uh, Before you go, what are you where are you going to guess? I'm going to guess like 30. 40. 40? All right, well. I said 30. I said 40, so 35. Okay. Yeah. No, that's actually pretty quick. Probably 40. 40. All right. Got some wind. Not too bad. Uh, where are you at? Um, same spot. Here we go. Two left of me, left of me, left of me. 35. <laughs> oh my gosh. You would, I promise you, we did not probably see four. Oh man, that thing's dogging it. 38. That thing's dogging it. Sound, it just sounds different. I can't tell 38. That's fine. 35, 35. So it's consistent. That was probably a little better. Actually, it's 33. I don't understand that one. All right, set yeah, it up this here. Is up wind, the blue wind. Okay. 30, 38. So it looks like that thing is topped out at 38 miles an hour. 42, what I got right underneath it. So there is going to be some degree of error here while we're doing this. 37. As long as you don't take my head off. 41. Yeah. You didn't. Too, too slow. It didn't register. 43. I put my life in danger to get that 43 right there. <laughs> All right, so I called 30, he called 40, and then we compromised it at 35, and the first pass, sure enough, was 35 miles an hour. I would not would have believed that was the case. But. And I knew it wasn't gonna be as fast as the Aurora because it yeah. wasn't designed to be like a super monster powerhouse. Right, this right. one, it's, you know, it's got durability set up in it. Um, this is one for if you're just getting into brushless stuff and all that, this would be a good entry level one, just know you have to put a receiver. Right, so 20 miles an hour faster, give or take, than the other ones. Yeah, but it flies. I mean, it flies, it flies good. Yeah. yeah, so it's, it's not going to be a power. speed demon, but yeah. it's not made. It's not designed to be a speed demon. Probably the only brushless I would probably take inside the house. And don't go 45 miles an hour in your house. Yeah, I mean, you could set it to cruise around when the bumpers will do their job. Right. So uh, what's next? Uh, let's see if we got a surprise in the car. All right, let's go. Now this one is. Um, I've flown it for about a minute, so I don't even know how it's going to fly. Right. And I flew it at night. In the oh, okay, perfect. The lights so you, this is dialed in then, right? Configure. Oh, per yeah, yes. 100%. Now. What is that one, Will? Uh, it's not your grandma's Racer 250. Um, this is this is a new one. This is the Racer 250 Pro. Um, it it's has brand new. Just came out. Just got delivered from e Machine. What? Thursday? Two days ago. Two days yeah. ago. So you have about what a minute stick time on this guy? Uh, I I set it up last night with some guesstimates. But right. We'll see how it goes. So these aren't fine-tuned pids. These are probably best from your experience of doing all the yeah, wizards and stuff like guesses, that. Yeah. All right. So speed-wise, I'm gonna guess 45 to 50. This is four cell. Oh, four cell. Oh, this gosh. is four cell. It's a small four cell, so we're not gonna get a lot of passes. I don't think okay. doing a lot of power on it. All right. Uh, it's got a lot of prop to it. It's what, a, what size prop are these? 50, 48. So, so these are five inch, five inch, five inch prop on a this four should, cell. Technically, I would think this would be 65 plus. Holy cow, all right. But I don't know if I'll be able to get the tilt because right. the camera's only camera. 25 degrees. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're Let's gonna go. try it. All right, the uh, new Racer 250 Pro, Racer 250 Pro, here we go. That's an oscillation. 61 the first pass, and that was really high and really far away from me. Here it comes, a little better. 54, and again, that was a little high. Here he comes. That was 60. 60. Yeah, I can't, I can't see ground, so. 62. Again, this has not been tuned in. This is the second flight. Actually, the 62 again. This is the first real flight of this guy. 61. So I've been low 60s. Sixty. Well, low sixties, and unfortunately, you can see the difference between a good battery and a bad battery. That one, two, three, four passes, is already done. And the Wild Scorpion gave us about five or six passes, so about double the passes. 4S. I was kind of disappointed in the speed because it didn't get any faster than the Wizard. Although, 
we gotta remember that was the first flight you had with this guy. So I was getting time. some jello oscillations. Yeah. I think the pids are still a little too high. They need to come down. So we will definitely come back and revisit the speed on this one. This pass wasn't bad, but the battery, I, I could see the voltage on the OSD because this actually has onboard OSD. Okay. I could see the voltage dropping really right. quick as soon as I got into it. I think just it needs a better battery too. Got, all right, so what we'll do, we owe you a, another video of this guy on better tuned PIDs and with the Wild Scorpion 4S 70C. This is a lot of motor, a lot of prop. These are the same motors that they used on the Tilt Rotor 180. Okay. So they are hungry and they want right. they want battery. And what's left in the uh, arsenal here? Get the frog? Get the frog. Frog, let's go for the frog. Um, two cell brushed with the tri blades on it, which is gonna actually probably slow it down, uh, but I think it flies better. More of an indoor-ish kind of Yeah, setup. this is, I mean, I still got the prop guards on and everything, okay. so this is Maybe not 15? We'll go with that. 20, you know, 15, tops. 20. All right, this is something no, you really can fly in your front yard or your cola sack, whatever you got. Right. Oh, Come you're on concrete. 20. No way. 28. Full. You went over my head. 29. It's not that fast. It's not as fast as the baby hawk. 28. All right. Well, we don't. All right, let me fly around the same spot I was before. 24. Now the difference between that one and the one you just did, you're closer to me, so it's getting a back, more accurate read. 23. 25, right there, 25. 24, see, I mean, I'm almost touching the darn thing with, my, with the gun right here. 25, all right. You, you think that's you think that's right or you think that's too this is thing is inaccurate? I mean I guess it might be right up. I think what's I think there's two reasons. One, oh I don't know the first one, but I think this, the main reason is that angle of attack is almost zero. And that's what you need when you do a radar gun. At least that's what the cop told me when I get pulled over. Alright, so we're gonna do two passes. Um not even in the same at 26. I would never thought this guy was 26. Where is it? Oh, I didn't get that. Sorry, I couldn't see it. Okay. This one's a little hard to, hard to see. 29. 29. Alright. Yeah, 23 on that one. So it definitely the angle definitely the I mean, wider the angle. The I knew that. I just wanted to prove it. 31. No. 31, man. No way. I don't lie. And we just proved the angle because I was at at a wider angle, it was at 23 or something. 32, and you came almost hit me. Oh, almost, damn it. <laughs> Where? 29, I almost, I, I moved, I kind of flinched, sorry. 32, you got a wind on that one, I felt the wind. So with the gust, you got 32, Will. And then into the wind, I don't, I didn't do it. Two. Alright, um, upside down, zero. So the Ishii Q90C, 32 miles an hour downwind. I don't know how. <laughs> um, so again, this is obviously not scientific, this is just for fun, but this is not the slowest one of the bunch. And this is what, the brush one, they're 30 miles an hour. So there you have it. We done the Wizard. We did the Racer 250 Pro. We done the Baby Hawk. We done the, the Frog. The QX Frog. The QX90C, and the Aurora 100. What was the most surprising to you? I mean, I wasn't surprised on the Aurora 100. I mean, I, 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 mean, I, I knew they fly just as fast as the big guys, but to see it and to, to know it and to read about it are two different things. I would never would have believed without seeing it that one was just as fast. I think our numbers could have been better early on because we were just using this thing. Um, I think. Are you calling worse. me a bad radar gun guy? Yeah, you had one job. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think uh, the pilot could have been better angles. Yeah, true. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and comment below a which quad or airplane you want us to see the radar gun, and we'll try to get that in our next video. And um, this is pretty fun, actually. Next time I'll fly, and I'll because I have no regard for him, so I'll crash into him if I have to. <laughs> okay, I don't know about that one. Maybe we'll see. I heard my. I brought my DVR. I don't. I didn't start it. Cause I didn't. Do you got? No, mine should be good. All right. I don't have the the good monitor.
It smells like nitro fuel in here. It does, I uh, spilled some. <laughs> Did you make it 